Hello, good day mga kamaters! How are you ang mga math enthusiasts and resilient students? Kumusta ang ating pag-aaral sa ating mga bahay? Ang mga online at ang ating mga modular, I hope na okay tayong lahat ngayon. Before we continue, let us say thank you to our dear parents, ang ating mga learning facilitators at talagang katuwang ng mga guro ngayong pag-aaral na to ngayong bagong normal. Thank you very much sa pagsuporta ninyo, sa panonood ng mga videos at sa pagtuturo at paggabay sa ating mga anak. Thank you, thank you po sa inyong lahat. Don't forget to subscribe on my channel para updated kayo sa mga video lessons ko in learning fractions. Our lesson for today is about multiplying fractions, fraction by another fraction and whole number by another fraction. Still, I am your teacher, Sir Johnny Olorbida. Let us take a look on this problem number one. John Ren has three-fourths kilogram of sugar. He used one half of it in cooking champorado. How much sugar did John Ren use for champorado? Remember kids, breakfast is the most important meal of the day. So don't forget to eat your breakfast. And champorado is one of the most delicious breakfast. Kasama ng dried fish. How are we going to solve this problem? We are looking for one half of 3 fourths kilogram of sugar. When we say of, it means what? And that's right. Of means multiplication. So we are going to multiply 1 half times 3 fourths. Guys, remember in multiplying fractions, all you need to do is to multiply the numerators, then multiply the denominators. So let us multiply. 1 times 3 is 3. 2 times 4 is 8. And our answer is 3 eighths. Is this already in lowest term? Yes, it is already in lowest term. So our answer is 3 eight kilograms of sugar. Remember, mga kamatters, in multiplying fractions, the first thing that you are going to do is to multiply the numerators just like this. 2 times 3 is equal 6. Next, multiply the denominators. 5 times 4 is equal 20. So, our answer is 620. But don't forget to reduce the fraction in lowest term. This 620 can be reduced as... Okay. Okay, very good. Three tenths because we are going to divide 6 and 20 by their GCF which is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. 20 divided by 2 is 10. Okay. Now, it is your turn. Let us try this. 3 fifth multiplied by 2 fourths. What is the answer? And you're correct. The answer is 3 tenths. Don't forget, express your answer in lowest term. How about this? Let us take a look on this problem. Karen has 3 kilograms of fish. She cooked 2 thirds of it in the morning. How much fish, how much fish did she cook? Why do you think that Karen cooked? fish in the morning. Yes, that's right. Fish rich in protein na kinakailangan ng ating katawan. So why fish? Because fish is a good source of vitamin D. It helps treat depression. It reduces the risk of heart attack. It protects from AIDS-related deterioration. And it contains omega-3 which is very good for your brain to improve your memory para masagutan nyo ang mga pagsasanay natin dito sa ating pag-aaral. Let us go back to the problem. So the operation that we are going to use here is 
multiplication. We are going to multiply 3 times 2 thirds. Remember, of means multiplication. So we are looking for 2 thirds of 3 kilograms. So our operation can be 3 times 2 thirds is equals n or pwede namang 2 thirds times 3 is equals to n. So, ayan. So, wala namang pagbabago dyan. So, we are going to multiply the numerator. But we, there's no, there is no numerator in number 3. Remember kids, all whole number has a denominator of 1. So, our denominator will be 1. So, let us multiply. 2 times 3 is equal to 6. And 3 times 1 is equal to 3. Then, let us express our answer in lowest term. This is an improper fraction, so we are going to divide it, the numerator and the denominator. 6 divided by 3 is 2. So our final answer is 2. 2 kilograms of meat were cooked in the morning. Very good. You can follow these steps to multiply a fraction by a whole number. Write the whole number as a fraction with a denominator of 1. Tandaan, lahat ng numbers ang denominator ay 1. Then, multiply the numerators. Multiply the denominators. And don't forget to express your answer in simplest or lowest term. It is your turn to solve this one. What is one third of nine? So multiply nine by one third. And what is the answer? Very good. Three. Because nine times one, is, because nine will become nine over one. And we are going to multiply it by one third. So nine times one is nine. And 1 times 3 is 3. 9 divided by 3 is 3. Good job, kids! Another try. What is 1 fifth of 12? Okay, you can use your notebook and ball pen to solve this problem. Then, I'm going to help you. So 12, the denominator will become 1 times 1 fifth. Then, multiply the numerators. 12 times 1 is 12. And 1 times 5 is 5. Okay, so what will be our final answer? And the final answer is 2 and 2 fifths. Let us apply. Tingnan natin kung masosolve na natin ito sa ating mga pangaraw-araw na gawain. There are 90 children at the birthday party. I know that you missed this kasi hindi kayo makalabas. If, one, if three pips of them were boys, how many boys were there? Again, there are 90 children at the birthday party. If three pips of them were boys, how many boys were there? To solve this problem, we are going to get the three pips of 90. Remember? Op means multiplication. So we are going to multiply 3 pips by 90. And the denominator of 90 is 1. So let us multiply. 3 times 90, what is the answer? Okay, it is 270. 5 times 1? Okay, that is 5. Then we are going to Divide 270 divided by 5. Very good. 270 divided by 5. 27 divided by 5 is? Good job. 5. 5 times 5 is 25. And 25 min uh, 27 minus 25 is 2. Let us bring down the zero. 20 divided by 5 is 4. 
and 4 times 5 is 20. So we have exact answer. So how many boys are there? There are 54 boys in the party. Nice. Reflection time. Type A if you understand the lesson well. B if you still confuse. And C if you don't understand the lesson. I'm waiting for your answer. Okay, that's all for today, kids. Goodbye, mga kamaters, ang mga math enthusiasts and resilient students. Stay safe. Kalma lang, sa bahay lang tayo. Stay at home and love, love, love everyone. See you again on my next video, Multiplying Mixed Numbers. Bye, everyone. Keep safe.